Plotsov was such a hotbed of modernism before the war and of progressive architecture, and this was a very progressive building. All stories connected with these Wertheim buildings were, uh, were showing that the building was the really the best. It was the biggest department store open on the east uh, side of Berlin. Between 1930 and, and now, it's, it's an incredible troubled time for Wrocław. And the Second World War must be mentioned because Wrocław was completely demolished, heavily bombed. Was, there was, I remember exactly, it was June 1998, so 11 years ago exactly. Uh, and some, some new client investor bought a Renoma and he's looking for uh, uh, guys who will make the inventory of the building, the survey. I, I was thinking personally, okay, you will be the guy who will be <laughs> who will be said in all the histori history of architecture books that, that the guy who, 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 who demolished the <laughs> original building, you know, there was the Verheim who built it and the Machkov who demolished, you know. It fit perfectly, really, because this communication between old building and new building is really related. It's, it's, a, it's a something similar to the history of the, of the cross of itself, really. This is completely, completely different city. And uh, what is for me difficult to say for other cities, if one comes to Wrocław every half a year, one can see the difference. There are many interesting aspects of the Renoma project that make it more than, a, than another shopping center, because it, it is technically now a, a shopping center. It's, it's one of many signs that Wrocław is coming to terms with its German past.